We are back here in Toy the Tower Defense. Today, we're going to be talking about trading in values and trade-ups in general. I'm going to separate another video I have coming up soon for this game. Uh, probably till like, after this video gets published. Not today, though. But today, before we get this video, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment down below, please. All right, so I, we had a lot of people get asked me, how do you trade and how do you actually be really good as a trader and become rich in the game? I'm going to tell you step by step. Number one, we're going to start out with a website that actually has value so you guys can learn how to trade with values, bro. Okay, this website right here, I'm going to be linking in the comments section under is i think it's gonna be like trade look for the trade uh section you'll find the website this website gets updated frequently a lot it's the only website that gets updated it tells you the prices of the things that's value wise obtain is it obtainable how much it cost put it down how many exist is it stable the stability demand of it and how much it's worth gym wise so a lot of people get it confused saying that like this right here is worth ten thousand right now no it's not it's one thousand it's dropped a lot utc has dropped to eight thousand you can see values of other stuff like you can see like engineers 20k you can see like the crate values so you don't get scammed it's chef tv man do this website to your advantage to learn prices so you don't get scammed because a lot of people are trying to scam you out of your stuff right now so make sure you guys do check this website uts is a utcs are kind of or the tc is dropped uts is dropped utc over here is 1.8 glitch is dropped a lot of these guys have dropped recently a lot of these guys have gone up it really depends and the sinister guy is 3k so make sure you guys use your website to your advantage because it's good for learning how to trade number two you have a lot of stuff in your inventory a lot of people uh i'm not gonna talk about the sign stuff right now the signing stuff i'll talk about in a separate video i could add it to this video but i'll probably use that for another video um, it's a whole different talk I want to talk about. But you have all your stuff in the inventory. A lot of people like the overtrade and all that, bro. Can we stop with the overtrading? No one's overtrading for your item. If you have an engineer, and for say the engineer is 20k, which is 20k right now, no one's overpricing for engineers. Stop scamming people. That's my pet peeve, bro. No one's overpricing. Stop trying to scam. Because if you try to trade me while I'm live streaming and you try to tell me to, uh, that's not fair, bro. I'd rather I can get better. No, you can't. You can only get the same value as that. If you're trying to get better, you're scamming someone else. And you, how do they feel about that, huh? Stop trying to scam and I'll probably block you. But no, if your thing says 20k, I'm gonna trade 20k. I might go up a little bit. I might be above. I might overprice it just a little bit, but I'm not giving you a crazy inventory. Here's my inventory for playing just for a month, by the way, if you guys want to see it. I've been playing for only like, no, it's been two months now. I think two now, not a month. It's a way past a month. It's been like two months and a half now or something like that, or just two months. It's the inventory I have so far. We get two engineers. We have a UTC. We have a bunch of this stuff right here. We have the large firework, a bunch of sinisters. We have a chef here. We have a bunch of random stuff, a bunch of sinister cameramans. Just a lot a lot of random stuff i've been collecting over time but a lot of people don't have because they've been playing for longer than me anyways inventory check um i will say trade people that's not skimmy guys make sure nobody don't ever go first make sure you guys are trading same time check the values first tell them to give you a second check the values don't let them trade you don't let them have you trade first and speaking of the mailbox don't trade through mailbox that's the number one pet peeve too do not s trade your thing through a mailbox you have a trading system for a reason no mailbox trading and that's pretty much those steps also speaking of mailbox by the way if you guys want to send me some in the mail and you want me to shout you out in a video i am currently going to be doing a mailbox video here soon my username is just the same as my youtube name zenica fps mail me something doesn't matter what it is shout out your youtube channel if you guys want to shout out anything you want to go ahead i'll shout your names out send me a mail I'll, I'll shout you guys out but those are pretty much some of the steps i have for trading to become rich if you guys want to also learn how to trade trading plaza is okay but there's a lot of scammers in the trading plaza i'd watch watch out for that i say your best pro possibility of trading will probably be in, in this game right here you can talk to people over here um and i'll probably be better for trading i guess but don't don't go to trading plaza if you don't really feel like it. It's it's, it's overcrowded and a lot of scammers in there looking for only engineer. Also, can we talk about how people only want engineer and top tier things, bro? If you can't afford engineer, don't trade for it. It's getting on my nerves. You're not gonna get it if you have low items. You need to learn how to trade up. So say you only have, uh, let's say you have only a sinister. Oh, no, no, no. Say you only have like, I don't know, a firework cameraman, which we'll check his value. Hey, he's sitting at 10 gems. You're gonna have to flip him like crazy. So he's 10 gems, right? You would need to trade for something a little bit more than that. So say uh the pumpkin farmer is probably like 600 500 right now let's check that'd be a flip you go from the pumpkin farmer to maybe like uh not a rocky you probably go to like a legendary couple legendaries and go up until you get up to like sinister until you get up to like a godly and then you almost have enough to get a couple godlies and then you have like, close enough to get another freaking i don't know so you get close to like i don't know the freaking the freaking the engineer guy bro then you can get it don't trade if you have doo-doo inventory but nobody wants help okay also oh speaking of the devil i want to say this too you will never catch me slip for people that buy the new uh, exclusive units a lot of people usually buy the exclusive units and they expect to get a lot off of it the first time it releases guys if you don't stop doing that no one's overpricing for a stupid unit that comes out it's gonna drop in value in under a week anyways because people when first titan came out everyone's like i need a utc i need oh godly i need two oh godlies it's worth that much bro no it's not dropping a lot it's gonna drop there's already like 286k exists and it's 
a bit out for like a week or two. Stop doing that. Use your unit and stop trying to scam people. You might end up scamming people, but if you do that, whatever, man. You do what you want to do on your own free time. I'm not saying what to do, but you're not scamming me. I'm not a pet peeve, bro. So if you do buy one of these, man, obviously if the price is the price, I'll trade for it. But like after so long, don't continue saying that's the same price and trying to scam people, bro. But that's pretty much all the steps I have for the trading stuff. Those are the steps to become rich, bro. You can you can get rich in the game by like trading up, learning values, and etc. What's up, Conquest? You're in the video right now, Conquester. Hi, Conquester. Hi. My keyboard broken, by the way. But yeah, that's pretty much for you guys. Like and subscribe. And I'm gonna do another video soon. Let me know if you guys want any more tips in the game. And I got you. Peace out, guys. Bye.